Hello, my name is Dr. Paul England, and I have the honor to welcome you today as one of the teachers at Promise Christian University to our new weekly program that is designed to help people and encourage people in every place to study God's book, the Holy Bible. We at Promise have titled our program Study with Promise because it represents who we are and what our mission is as a school. As a school, our vision and mission is to reach people everywhere with the message of God's truth that's found in the Bible. We believe God has given to us this mission because it is so vitally important to the lives of people everywhere and especially in the times that we live in. Why is teaching the Bible so vitally important, you may ask? Well, certainly there are many other subjects that we can teach that are important, like math, science, language, law, government. Well, the answer to that question is that none of these subjects can compare with the importance of teaching people the Bible. And the reason is because of the knowledge that the Bible gives to us is life-changing. The next question you might ask is, well, how is the Bible life-changing? Well, I want to give you five reasons or ways that the Bible changes our life. First of all, the Bible gives to us a true understanding of the one and only God who is set apart and sovereign above all things. We are told that the Bible has been inspired of God. Without the Bible, our knowledge and perception of God is very limited and often completely false. So often our knowledge of God is influenced by false teachers or by our own lack of knowledge and understanding. As a result, we end up following and worshiping false gods who have no power to help us or to do us good. We know the Bible can give to us an accurate knowledge and understanding of God because those who wrote the Bible were men who knew God and experienced God's power for themselves, who heard him speak to them his word. The Bible affirms to us that all scripture is inspired by God. In 2 Timothy 3.16, the Bible tells us that the men who wrote the Bible were known as prophets, who spoke as God's spirit moved them to speak and to write the words that God gave to them. Listen to what the apostle Peter wrote in one of his letters that is included in the canon of scripture. He wrote that holy men of God spoke as they were moved by the Holy Spirit. That's 2 Peter 1.21. Therefore, we can be confident that when we study the Bible, we are learning the truth about God. Truth that will free us from any false perceptions that we have about God. The Bible is indeed an accurate record of God's word and of the works of God. The things that he has done to reveal himself to us, to reveal his divine nature and eternal attributes so that we might know and worship him truly as the one and only sovereign God. Secondly, the Bible is life-changing because it inspires and gives us faith where we didn't have faith before. God tells us in his word that faith comes through hearing his word. This is why God has sent people to preach and to teach God's word, the Bible, just like we do here at Promise Christian. God's word gives us the faith we need to experience God's miraculous power in our life, to receive healing for our body and soul when we need healing, and receive answers for, from God to our most difficult problems that no one else can answer. 
When we learn the truth of God, we gain a sure foundation of faith that will stand every test and every challenge that we face in life. Many people live today in fear and doubt and uncertainty because they have no sure foundation for their beliefs. They have nothing to support their arguments when they try to persuade us of things that are not true. When they put people who do not know God's word, put their faith instead in things that are unreliable, whether it be riches or in rulers and governments or in their own wisdom ability, they end up full of doubt and uncertainty that only increases their fears and anxiety. But with a foundation of faith, a foundation of truth to build our faith upon, we can face difficulties and overcome any force, forces that are beyond our control, things that come against us to threaten us or to overthrow our lives. But Jesus said that anyone who receives his words and does them will be a man who builds his house upon a rock. And whether, whenever a flood comes or should come to his house, his house will stand. When the devil came to Jesus to tempt him when he was in the wilderness, Jesus withstood that temptation because he stood on God's written, with, written word. Jesus said also that he would build his own house, the church, upon the foundation of the Apostle Peter's testimony concerning him that he is the Christ, the Son of God. And with that testimony, Jesus said, even the forces of hell would not prevail against his church. Which brings us to the next reason the Bible is life-changing. The Bible is life-changing because it is life-saving. The Apostle Paul wrote, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone who believes, to the Jew first and also to the Gentile. It is when we know and believe God's truth concerning His Son, Jesus Christ, what He calls the good news of Jesus Christ, is that we are saved from God's judgment against us, brought upon us by sin, our own sin, Sin produces, is what produces condemnation that results in a sentence of death. God's word is life-saving when we learn that Jesus Christ died for those very sins of which we are guilty of. God's word delivers us from that sentence of death when we put our faith in the atoning work of Jesus Christ because with his shed blood, that he gave on the cross. Jesus wiped away our debt of sin to free us from that debt and give to us eternal life. Isn't that great news? That's why it's called good news. God's word is life-saving when we learn to do what God commands us to do. It teaches us to believe and to trust in God as our Savior to believe that God truly did send His only begotten Son to be the Savior of all men. It's in believing in Christ as our Savior that we discover how great God's love is for us and that there is none like Him who is so good and wise and sovereign over all, who indeed is worthy of our highest praise and worship. The Apostle John recorded these words of God's love in John 3.16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. Yes, the Bible is life-saving because it answers our most important need, the need to be saved from the condemnation and judgment that sin brings upon us. Paul wrote that the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ. Another reason the Bible is life-changing is because it provides the answers we need to give us everlasting peace. 
People everywhere are searching for answers to life's most perplexing problems, answers that will free us from all of their fears and our fears and doubts. People are looking for answers concerning their existence and the meaning of our life and to all the injustice in the world. The Bible provides these answers to these kinds of questions to give us assurance and confidence in the midst of a world that is continually destroying itself. And finally, the Bible is life-changing because it prepares and equips us for every good work. By learning to do the things that God instructs us in the Bible, we are enabled to be successful in every work that God gives us to do. God's Word enables a man to be a good husband to his wife, a woman to be a good wife to her husband. It enables husbands and wives to be good parents to their children. It enables children to honor and obey their parents, to respect others, especially to honor and obey God. When we study the Bible, we gain the wisdom and knowledge that will enable us to do any and every good work that God calls us to do. As he, Paul wrote in 2 Timothy 3, 16 and 17, that all scripture is inspired of God and it is profitable for instruction, for correction, for reproof. And why? So that the man of God can be thoroughly prepared for every good work. In conclusion, you may ask, how do I know these things that are true, that make the Bible life-changing? Well, the answer is because I've experienced this life-changing power of God's Word for myself. It has changed me since I was a child, when I first began learning the Bible. Through the things I've learned as child, I gained faith, not only to trust God, to love Him, but become equipped to be a pastor and a teacher today. In conclusion, I want to leave you with Something my wife shared with me, our daughter posted on her Facebook page. She posted these words. The purpose of studying the Bible is not to just study, but to know more of God, to enter more into His presence and to align ourselves with His will. If it does not change us, then it is purely an academic study of no greater value than organic chemistry or anthropology. We study Scripture not to become wise in our own eyes, but to allow our heart to be with the same rhythm as the heart of God. And uh, when we know the heart of God, we cannot stay the same. I believe that came from Beth Moore's Bible study. So study with us, I promise we invite you, and may God bless your pursuit of the knowledge of his word.